Hey guys, it's Wes coming at you with another uh, ambitious project I got. I've got a, uh, this is my ATC 200 and I bought some parts here. Um, I got some, uh, some brakes because I'll show you, I'll show you later. And I got some new wheel bearings and seals. I've never done this before, so we're just gonna see how this goes. And uh, so let's uh, let me show you. I've got I got it kind of started. Let me show you what I've got done. All right, yeah, this, the sun's in kind of a bad way right now, but you just have to deal with it. Okay, so I took the drum off. I put it back on because I. I'm dumb, but the, uh, let's see if I can get you where you can see this. This is what's inside the cover, the dust cover, water cover, whatever. Yeah, that's, that's my brake pad. So let me get the drum off and I'll show you what they look like. Let me, let me get this off. Yeah. Please don't fall over on me. Come on now. Oh, why did I put this back on? Oh, okay. Yeah, man, fall over. Okay, now you can see that all of the friction material. Man, that was, I think that was hard. Last time I pulled this off, I had to weld a slide hammer onto this to pull that off. But yeah, and then, um, can you see that? Probably not with me wiggling. The bearings are totally toast. So, I've got this side disassembled over here. I have took in all that. Yeah, there's these. This is the belly pan, goes underneath. It's all 10 millimeter hardware. And here's the chain guard. Surprisingly, the chain in this whole thing is in pretty good shape. Man, the sun is bad. Picking a bad time of day to do this. So I'm gonna pull, I started, I'm gonna pull the master link. Can you even see? The master link, I'm gonna pull that off. And then I'm gonna try, I found, so I watched YouTube videos before on how to do this. I found a piece of pipe that fits right over there. See, it's already trying to come off, see? So I'm gonna beat the axle out. So uh, I'm gonna put you up in a stand and maybe you can watch me struggle, try to do that. What's going on here? O-rings, yay. Let's take these off carefully. Let's put a little WD on all this. And then a slight little tappy tapperoo with a hammer. Oh, there we go. Just need a little lever action, you know? A little tiny more bit. Yeah, if, I, if I'm doing this wrong, just tell me down in the comments, you know, because that's where, that's where all you guys who know how to do this stuff tell everybody. Okay, there's just that one. Can I get just one side off? Oh my god, why? There. Jesus. Is that o ring okay right there? Yeah, it's fine. I don't think this thing's been apart in, uh, since it was built. It's funny, that one come off first. Okay, yes. Now, fish it out of here. There's an O-ring there still. Oh my God. This appears to be 520 chain. That's just a guess, I don't know. There's the other O-ring, okay. All right, that was super tough. 
This lighting is crap. Okay, <laughs> this is bizarre as heck to me, but how many times have you seen somebody do bearings on a, on a ATC 200, right? You had to beat them out, right? Watch this. Look at that. It just came right out. That's crazy. Let's take a look at the shaft. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna the bearings ride, We're obviously, here. And here. Oh, can you even see in there? That is bizarre, isn't it? That's crazy. God, I hope the bearings I bought fit. Let's try it, let's see. See, these are the ones I bought. Uh, they came from a company called, it's on eBay, JM All Power Sports Drivetrain. These, I bought these a long time ago. I don't know how much they were. I think they're about 20 bucks or something. Let's, uh, let's just see. Huh. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing here. Look at that. Oh boy. What is going on here? You seem really sloppy. I've never done this before, like I said, so I'm gonna go do a little research. I think I might pull the seal cover off and then read the part number on here and just see what's going on. Let's see if you can, uh, can you catch that? Focus. It says 607 RS. And then of course this is Japan. These are the ones I have. Where's the, where's the best place to see? There we go. 607 RS. Six oh seven RS, it's the right part. Okay, now I'm now I'm gonna go do some research. Alright, I'm back. I guess I I'm just dumb. Uh can you see this? Oh. The bearing race is all the way back here, and actually it's really tight there. So, I'm just going to proceed. The other bearing, this bearing is good, but the other bearing is not. So, I'm going to knock these bearings out, put in the new seals, and I, I'm just going to proceed anyway. So, I've already pulled this seal out. I got to pull the brakes off the other side. Squeak, squeak. Push this bearing out, and then hammer in new ones. So, let's, <laughs> let's go. Let me get over here to the other side. Okay, so let's pull these off. Get this seal out of there. I hope I can get that. You know, Terrell has that seal sound effect. <coughs> wow, the other one came right out. Not this one, though. Gotta give her a little twist. Action. Ooh, good thing I got new ones. Ah, good. Now how do you get the bearing out? Maybe this pipe? It's working. Loud noises. Whoop, this bearing isn't isn't bad at all. I might keep that for emergency, you know, like the apocalypse or something. I'm gonna bring you over here. 
and you can watch me bludgeoned this other one out. This big chubby axle spacer they put in these things. Cool. even looking at can I am I making progress I can't I can't tell I can't tell from over here oh. come out bearing are you yeah it's almost out okay find this one yeah this one is bad yeah it's crunchy and what are we looking at this one I mean I beat on it but it's all crunchy and oh, now I got yeah take... I'm winded I gotta take a break okay I'm back got some uh, brake parts cleaner Should have done this to begin with. We're just gonna clean this out. Alright. This feels pretty good. I don't think I need to like sand it or anything. And then I'm gonna take some auto zone. There we go. Axle grease. And I'm just gonna like this yep yep I'm gonna put a big old gob in here just uh, as a preservative grab one of these new bearings let's see uh, how hard is this gonna be to get in oh well, hey whoa whoa Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it wrong? Probably. This is where most people click off. Okay, I'm gonna get, I got a punch set here. Is this riveting? It's riveting. Oh, what's a good one to use for this? This guy? Okay, let's get this in a little farther. I can do this without. This is working. Oh man, I'm fat. I need it. Stop eating fast food or something. You guys tell me when I got it in all the way. Oops. Ruined the bearing. Slipped off the. Booyah! And that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do the other one off. Wow, uh, what's the word? Without you guys watching me, you know, and critiquing me and now in the comments. Okay, I got this one in. And now, I got this uh, little seal. There's um, I put a tiny bit of grease on it. It's probably greasy enough. And I'm just gonna Trying to press it in my hand. Maybe if I use this old bearing. Way too big a hammer. Wait a second. I'm gonna start it square. Oh, it worked. It did. It did. It doing it. Okay, now let's take the bearing and we'll just really waylay the seal in. All the waylay. That was corny. Stop with the damn jokes. There we go. A little finger grease on the seal here. Like that. Just grease up the hole. 
Get your mind out of the gutter. All right. Uh, I gotta do the other side. Okay, I've got the, I got the seal in on the other side. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. See, it's actually not in bad shape, really. And I'm going to, can I drop my grease brush? Oh my God. Cut that part out. I don't wanna see your, okay. I'm gonna take some of this grease. I'm going to put it around the bearing race area and uh, just all lube the whole shaft for uh, ease of, uh, I'm going to stop right there. I, yeah, you didn't see I put that shim back in there. Lube the shit for a hole again. Let's just try to put this in here. I think there's leaves on here. It's ain't the worst thing that's been on this thing. Oh, yeah, look. No play. See, I was just... I don't know, I guess... I guess I was wrong. I thought it was going to be... Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, uh... I'm going to button this thing up. Um, put the chain back on, the shrouds, and, uh... Good plate thingy without recording it and then and then we'll move on to the brakes okay i'm pretty sure you can put a master link on if you're watching this and screw in seven ten millimeter bolts unless do you want to watch that no it's too bad we can't okay cut. here's a little quick tip for you before i uh put this back together uh so having trouble getting this master link you know because uh, it's old and stiff and big stuff. So I ran some uh, some mechanics wire through it. First you run a single strand through, try to twist it up and then it snaps. And then you double it up and then it pulls it tight enough and get the master link in. And you just gotta cut all that off. Okay, that's it, quick tip. Okay, I got this side all put back together. I greased the chain. Uh, got the wheel on. Somebody had like a, it was like curtain clippy things in there. I, oh, I had a, got a cotter pan in there now. So I'm gonna get, uh, let's get organized here a little bit and then we're gonna start on installing these brakes over here. All right, dogs, I'm recording now. Okay, we're gonna start out with uh, this brake cleaner. I got one of these chemical brushes. It's just kind of, kind of, you know, get everything wet. Get a little scrubby scrub with it. I don't know if this is necessary, but I do this on cars, so that's what we're gonna do first. Pretty sure this thing was leaking grease or something. And then you uh, rinse the paint off, and then you know you got it clean. That's how you know. Okay, let's soak that up. That's good enough. All right, so this was what was on there. And you can see it's pretty easy. You actually don't even need any special tools. You just flex it over the round pan, over this definitely obviously round spot here. Automatically goes over the, uh, whoop, the little brake thing jigger that, and I'll probably have to readjust this. Now that I've got it all completely dirty by my greasy hands, we'll clean this off. Whoa! And then also here's the drum. This thing's kind of beat to heck, but I'm going to. Give it a quick rinse. Off camera. So you guys can see what I'm 
messing up here. All right, looks good. Now, I don't, I don't know if this is a good idea, but there's some splines inside there. This is really blown out. I'm gonna change this angle. Is that better? Some splines in there. I'm just gonna put a touch of grease, just a little bit. Just for next time I gotta do this, which will probably be in like three years. Yes, and we'll grab a hammer just to make sure it's all the way home. That's pretty much it. I mean, it can't get much easier than an ATC. Now, what I'm going to do next is down here. I'm going to do something with this. This is the dust cover. So I'm going to find a trash can around here. Okay, I'll be right back. You just stay right here. Keep an eye on that. On that. Okay, I dumped out the schmoo with the old brake pads. We're just gonna give this a quick rinse. Pour it into this rag here so I don't kill the grass. That's good enough. I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of grease and just put it on this little rubber seal here. Again, I don't think this is necessary really this stuff's probably gonna get all rinsed out in the first 30 seconds of driving this thing And then try to line up your screw holes Here we go What do we got here? I think there's Six 10 millimeter headed a little fine thread well, Maybe they're coarse thread. I don't know. They're bolts there's six of them. And uh, if you're gonna, if you're like wondering if I am gonna torque these down to inspect, no. I'll show you how I do this. Take one of these, crisscross. And there we go. Now the way this thing is all tightened together, it's a little washer, and then two identical nuts. One's a nut, one's a jam nut. It's weird how these things just barely fit over this. I noticed that when I took it apart, I could get it straight, maybe. Yeah, so it just barely fits. And then again, I want to put a tiny bit of grease. I used uh, anti-seize last time, but I can't find my jug of anti-seize. Better, I just didn't look. Trying to get this started is always fun. Oh, actually, it was not bad. Turn this thing up. It's gonna take a little while. Let me uh, let me turn you off. I'll get both of these on there, and then yeah, we'll continue on. Man, I am really getting my uh, phone really greasy doing this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some channel locks here because I don't have a wrench that's this big. I don't know how tight you need this, but I'm thinking pretty tight. You know. Everything's still spinning. And then let's just do this jam nut up. Let's do it the pipe, let's do the wrench correctly. This video's got enough. Okay. So you're doing it wrong, comments. Probably. So yeah, let's just Grab this one. I'm gonna take this pipe wrench. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I got this. Make sure we're lined up here. Adjust it down, and then jam it on because it's a jam nut. Ah, 
Do you make that weird sound? Yeah, it's good. Okay, now I'm gonna put the tire back on and air up these tires, and then we'll test these brakes. Okay, let's get this on here. This guy. Perfect. Another cotter pin here. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, yes. I don't know if you remember. Did I show you earlier? Probably not. It was clunking when you did this. So, okay, let me, uh, we're gonna have to do the brake test. I gotta clean up this mess. I got stuff scattered everywhere. So let me, uh, let me clean this mess up and then we'll uh, test the brakes out on this thing. on location here yeah I'm good at this yeah I'm in uh next to the tracks here I think this is illegal I'm not sure but uh yeah we got let me pull these out here here's the uh old bearings and seals little brakes that uh well, it turned out pretty good. All right, you guys. The sun's setting. Dogs are barking. Yeah, so, uh, why don't you guys like and subscribe? Yeah, I'm up over 600 subs. It's kicking, kicking butt at this YouTube game. Look at that. Am I getting the shot? Pretty epic, huh? All right, guys, I'm going to go rip this thing around a little more, and uh, you guys take it easy, huh?